Hello my friends, it's Bruns here and welcome back to the channel and boy it's been a long long time that I haven't posted anything, I haven't even played Evil Dead and I've only recently got back to it because they released a new demon and I wanted to try it out. So I've been playing it for about, I don't know, 4 days, 5 days, I don't play half as much as you guys do. So Baal is a huge game changer I feel because it's one of the demons that can increase your chances of engagement with the survivors and i say that because as we all know at high level play the survivors tend to avoid and dodge the demon a lot and that makes that the demon doesn't level up i find that Baal has a lot of abilities that will allow you to get closer to survivors quicker and also just set out those traps as much as you want around them so that they keep falling on your traps and the fear keeps going up and you can keep possessing i mean it's not very fun for the survivors i think and you, you're still gonna lose and there's a certain group of people you're gonna lose to and it's usually the people that will avoid you most of the time and they also have the right team composition so about the tree i'm going for mainly the sur marked survivors so i want to make sure that once they're marked they're gonna take more damage i also want to make sure that they stay marked for longer also because i want that fear high i want to ensure that they are gonna have more fear once they get freed by my possession then what's important is is to reduce the threshold that the survivor can be possessed and also once I'm prestiged I'm probably gonna put a po an extra point here because I want the survivors to take more damage obviously the higher their fear the only points I'm putting on the boss is the cooldown for the portal because once you have it you just gotta use it that's that's at least how i feel i've got less inferno energy for traps i also want to increase the duration of the scare fest because this is one of my favorite abilities of all times i think because the ability to just run across the map and just setting up all the straps especially around objectives is is very powerful obviously bullseye is that ability that's going to get you close to the survivors much faster so i find this is very important so you want as much speed as possible for as long as possible so that you can catch up with survivors once they get into those cars then i just want to increase the damage of the boss and i do find that so i did have more points in here before but then i tweaked it a little bit i find maybe i don't need as many points in this but this is this can be useful and obviously scare fast i just want to be able to use that as much as possible so once i'm once again another point of procedure i'm going to put another point in here because i want the cooldown reduction to be as low as possible then i just want to boost the damage of the boss so another point will go here eventually and that's pretty much it um, I am going for kind of a basic build and the only reason for that is because I find that once you possess the basic the first thing you want to do very quickly is hit triangle on playstation 5 which is fit of temper and that's going to make its damage the damage of these units a lot faster and you can rack up good 400 damage out of survivors like that I've got some more balance bar on the basics I'm not too convinced I need this anyway but there you have it so that's the build I'm going for guys and let's jump right into a game so his team composition is, is quite balanced and I think the support Ash has been quite... It, he's been one of the best supports I think throughout the last few months I guess. Sherry is always good but the fact that you can keep support Ash in the fight is quite powerful. But this is what I love about Baal is that you can just set a trap and then you just go straight to the survivors. I don't mess around setting up loads of traps. I just set up one trap and then I just go for them. Right here they found a page already. So here I use his ability and then I just literally run across the place. And I just set up all these traps. And then you just, obviously you gain points as you set up these traps, right? So I think there's huge value in this ability. And I have been watching some people that are not using this ability as much as I thought they should. There you go, I've already got four points level five and it's only two minutes. And that's how strong this ability is. You want to get the basic supporter out as soon as possible. But Kelly's alone here, so I'm just going to try and bully her a little bit. So I'm going to get this. And here you go, fit a temper. And I ran out of energy there, unfortunately. So you want the cooldown of Scarefest to be as low as possible because you just want to be able to keep setting up those traps automatically without your input and again kelly's just messing around here Tell kelly I said thanks for the bomb. all right so i just want to 
I think what I do here, I just pull her back right into that trap. It's a good ability that Brock has, which is he can't be staggered, so it's similar to Henry. It's quite, it's quite, all is quite good for this. You can keep possessing them and then repossessing. As you can see, the Brock's fear got went down and then it went straight up again. So he's on full fear again. So you can keep possessing and depossessing them at your will. It's not fun for the survivors, but <laughs> you know, it's there. I'm gonna use it. And then he's just kind of messing around here. So he just set up all these traps again automatically without messing around there you go and then I get some more points like that I'm already level 10 it's only four minutes and that's because I've, I've managed to engage with them so much there is no Kelly anymore. all right he's a bit too far here so it's gonna waste all her ammo Then I don't want to run out of energy there. Okay, so I guess I'm just looking for where Kelly is. And this is what I love about Vals as well, is that you can just set up those traps right in front of them. So you can see how strong Fit of Temper is. You just spawn, you just possess the basic, and then you hit triangle, and then you just start hitting them. And it's a lot easier to hit hunter hunters like that. So for once, I think it's not too bad going against hunters or if they're isolated, just going for them if you're with Ball, because the basics can really hit them and hit them hard. Alright, Kelly is on max fear, so here we go again. Okay, she managed to escape me a little bit there. And this ash is going to be a little bit of a problem, so... I was trying to be clever here, and I, I actually decide I'm going to entertain this guy. <laughs> Let's wait and see how far he it's going to keep me in the loop and how far could I be without hitting him. Oh, I'll go in before you. <laughs> That's how it was. To manage to hit him one more time. Inferno energy regeneration of this boss is crazy, really. And this Kelly probably didn't know much what he was doing because he kept using his ability even when there was no enemies around. So he just wanted to speed up and regroup. So I, I kind of understand, but you are wasting your ability like that. Yeah, just resetting all those traps. Keep them engaged. Keep them busy there, really. Get the boss out. Now, with the boss, what I like to do is always spawn hidden away. And then I go invisible. And then I go for the weakest link, which in this case I know is Kelly. First, she's marked, so she's taking a lot more damage. And then, two, she's a bit squeegee anyway. So she's just dodging like hell here. But luckily, she escapes me. But lucky for her. She's just going for it. Let's get a bit of health back. And then I just go invisible again. I see that Kelly is just sort of gone. All right, he, he, he misses his shot there, so he can't interrupt me. Kelly decides to come back, and that's when I decide to go for her. So his peekaboo ability, once you're invisible, you do more damage when you attack. So she was just messing around there. And with Baal, it's quite easy to keep the pressure once one of them is down. And I think I was trying to do it here. I was trying to do an AoE damage. And I think I wasn't hitting the button right. I don't know what happened. So I don't know where Brock is. But I just decided to stay on these guys because I'm leveling up really fast because I'm engaging they engaging with me I'm engaging with them and that's what you want you want to you want to stay in the game 
Alright. Oh, Kelly. She's got a lot of ammo there. Someone dropped the ammo for her. Okay. I don't have any more energy. Nothing I can do. So I'll just go after some energy. He heals. But he wastes the heal on himself. That's what you want to do with the healers. You want to put the pressure on them. So that they can they waste all the heals on themselves and not on the group. None will survive. <laughs> She's desperate. Something. Eh, it's all good. That's the thing with Bao. Never feel like I'm wasting possessions or anything. There's always energy around. The regeneration rate of your inferno energy anymore is pretty high. He's just waiting for everybody to group up. I'm just gonna go and set up a few more traps. And here we go, fit of temper straight away. As someone gets me. Alright, still no starting points. Very fast attacks. That was 400 damage there on those four hits. Just quite spongy, isn't it? Okay. Now the elites. I think this was probably my first time having more of a proper go at the elites. And you know, the elites, they, they're okay, they're sluggish as usual. But you see, they hit a lot of people at the same time, and that's the good thing about them. I think I might try an elites build later and just see how it goes. I just think the fact that you can you can do 400 damage with the basics just as soon as you possess them. It's really powerful. I don't know if the elites build that. And then we all know what Baal is bad at, right? This book. So Baal is the kind of demon that if you can't... Oh, and here they, they were just watching. That was so bad. <laughs> they didn't care. So Baal is the kind of demon that... It's very good in early game and mid game. Once you get to book, then it's a bit. Mm, you're probably gonna lose. It's quite. It's quite tough unless you're using elites. And you have an elites build, and to be honest with you, if it gets to book, if I if you can't kill them, I, at least it's me. I, I I'm not too bothered then about winning because the fun of the game for me is the interaction of the demon and the survivors. So if there's no interaction, I'm not. I'm not too bothered really. We just keep the pressure. What you do want to do with the elite is just hit that triangle with that ability because that will lower the damage you take a lot. Actually, you become quite, become quite spongy. So we know where they are. We're just gonna go straight back. Some people still mark it on the map as soon as they despawn or they uh, get exercised. I mean, if you don't know the map yet, let's get some speed here. That's why I did that. Here I guess I was thinking, shall I go to the other point? Shall I go after them? Since you're sure and then I see that they are coming, they, they are gonna go into the tunnel. And I mean, into the tunnel, if you can catch up with them, like all can, then, then I think it's okay to go in. Because there are some goodies around there. All right, the two shield bars from Warrior Ash there. That's always good. Alright. Just do it. Do the temper. Alright. Use all her dodges. So now she's vulnerable. Yeah. And because she fell into that trap, she was marked. So she was taking almost 300... Uh, well, 250 damage, really. Nothing picks you up like she was the weakest link anyway, just from her playstyle. That's what you want to do, you want to see who's the weakest link, just go for them. Right, I didn't have my dash here. Just want to keep the pressure, setting up those traps. There you go. Just get the scare fest out and then you just want to set everything up really fast. You don't want to be messing around. Get the boss out again. And that's what I do here. 
Because we got a couple of people marked. Let's just try and go for damage. And he's just coming at me. So what I did there, I depossessed the boss because I thought they were just ganging up on me. And um, once the, this boss dies, he drops, he drops the shimps. I know the puppeteer does that as well. I'm not sure the other bosses do that, do they? But anyway, if you don't want to give them the shamps, just depossess before you die. And here, try to block them, but they were dodging me, so it's wasted there, but never mind. And it's just going up like crazy. It's never too much of a problem. To so stay left behind, so we're gonna set up a trap and just catch up with them. Yeah, it's, this, this is really strong. And this is, both a, this is both a good and a bad location. It's a bad location because there's lots of healables down Terminal Station. But it's good as well because there's loads of traps. So watch this. Just got here behind him. Boom, boom, boom. Everything. Set up everything. Getting points. I'm gonna go here straight away because I know they're gonna come here afterwards. Keep getting stuck around, across the, uh, um, around these corners. Look, so many traps are set up, and I just missed that one. The lost pages have been activated by the living. Now would be a good time right. to end their lives. So this point, they actually do quite well as well, I thought. I didn't think they were doing bad. They're staying quite close together. There was a lot of engagement though, so they lost a lot of health because of that. And here, because a fit of temper, I managed to get Rock into the corner. He was in a little bit of trouble there, but he wasn't taking too much damage. Right. Keep the pressure. The boss out kind of in front of them, but even then I thought they didn't quite see. So I didn't have my invisibility cloak here. Invisibility cloak. <laughs> Alright, he's healing Kelly. I'm invisible. No, I just depossessed her again because. That was a bit pointless, this boss. Scarefest is back, so I just used my ability once again to set up some traps. Let's level up some things here. I could have done, it's just kept moving around here so that I set up more traps. So you see I set up that, I, I used the ability of the elite to become resistance of damage and it does become quite resistance of damage. I just got stunned in the end there. We're about to take point here. Yeah, they've done a good job. Nobody went down. We got exercise not too far anyway. Golden box right by the dark ones. Great. Okay, so we can luckily we can get back that really really quick, and that's what we're gonna do now. But they're falling to all those traps that I've set up earlier. You can hear it hear it already. There you go. This is my last chance to really accomplish something here and maybe get them down. So they've so I'm gonna keep um, setting up these traps. With my ability and that's the good thing the ability stays on even if you possess an enemy if you possess a unit and Brock gets healed a little bit that wasn't very much so we're just keeping on the pressure here that's two heals three heals he used there quite a bit of a waste and he dodges right towards me so I completely miss him 
Thanks to my ability, I managed to set up that trap again just before. So I'll just keep going for Brock. So this is the very end. I can see Kelly and the other Ash. They're going towards the next objective. But he is unfortunate. Brock just goes down. And I got the fits of temper out. He misses crossbow shot. Just crap anyway. Like crossbow. So he obviously he just wants me to use all my energy and that's fine. I just drop my units because I've got my demonic dash so I can't stop him reviving. Just want to keep delaying him. Let's get the boss out as well. Right on top of him. And luckily <laughs> I managed to stop him. So Brock dies. Right, and th this is exactly what I needed. They split up there, and that was... I managed to turn the tables here. Now it's going to finish off the other two. It's going to take me for a spin a little bit, but that's fine, because it runs out of stamina. Let's manage to grab him. So tanky. So tanky. Kelly's coming back now, so if I can take her down, then Ash is the last one. And she's very squeegee. She's the weakest link. I think at this point I'm thinking my odds are quite good. You see, I did 300 damage there on her with my peekaboo ability. And another almost 300. Don't know why he's shooting me. Invisible again. Grab the. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. If he had gone to book, I would have had to make ev every effort to bring them down before book started. Because once book starts, that's it. And then I'm kind of. For me, it's over anyway. I don't know if I did possess. I can't remember if I did possess there. I think I did possess because I didn't hear the sound of a champ dropping. There you go. So bow guys, absolutely game changer for demon. No survivors probably not enjoying this at the moment. It's quite tough out there, but you got to play the avoidance game. If you play the avoidance game, you win. High scores don't mean anything. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, drop me a like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. How pitiful. Our victory was never in doubt.